If you want to become a millionaire, the best bet that you can do is to get plots of land in the metaverse. But as you might know, you have to invest into different games if you want to get those plot of lands. You cannot just buy land in the metaverse, right? In this video, I want to present you my five top games where I would recommend you to buy plots of lands. Let's go. So the first favorite game is the sandbox. In the sandbox, you have 166,000 plots of lands where you can buy it and it's a lot actually where the scarcity factor is not as huge anymore but the game is also very hyped. The definition of land as defined by the sandbox is a land is a digital piece of real estate in the sandbox metaverse. Game designers use land to build digital experiences such as games or the aromas and also populate it with assets. The funny thing is Every game has its own definition of what you can do on the plot of land. On some plot of lands, you can do different experiences, you can invite your friends, you can put up some statues or captures of the assets that you acquired over your lifetime and you can present them. It's up to your definition of what you can do or in better terms, it's also up to the definition of the game of what is possible to do inside the game of those NFTs. Why I personally like the sandbox game is because they have a lot of good partnerships going on. They have partnered up with Snoop Dogg, The Walking Dead, Atari and they also got a lot of plots of lands there. As you might see some common pictures of Atari or CoinMarketCap, Binance, they all presented inside the game. They bought this plot of lands and they know what's gonna happen. The more people are buying into the plots of land, the scarcer it gets. And if you are one of the first ones, you can secure good land because it depends on multiple factors of how much this land will be. It depends on the size of the plot of lands, it depends on the location, it depends on the scarcity and how good the gameplay will be but if they have a lot of good partnerships going on you can expect that the game is gonna spike up you're not too late to buy plots of land so if you really want to get involved into that you can still get them either on their platform or on the secondary market and with that being said let's go to the second game we are talking about Mirandus from Gala Games. Mirandus is a fantasy world powered by blockchain technology where you can truly own your own content. Mirandus is an RPOMG. It's not launched yet, but the whole plots of land is already sold out. Let's take a look on the plots of land. As you can see, most of it already got sold out, but the scarcity factor was also pretty high. As you can see here, there was 120. 10. This one has a lot, it has 100, but still overall it's nothing compared to the sandbox which had 166,000 plots of land. This one you can still buy but I'm guessing it's kind of harder to get. On the page it says contact us to buy it. Maybe they want also only want to give this to a special kind of person. On a secondary market they are selling for a high price. This sells for 0.5 ether which is $2000 and it's just for a 10 to 10 structure inside the game. Why I'm personally bullish on Mirandus is because the scarcity factor is pretty high. Gala Games has a higher market capitalization so people are interested into what the Gala Games are producing. The founders are awesome and they're doing a good job of promoting their stuff to their community. If you haven't registered to Gala Games, I would highly recommend you to go to the link down below and register there. You can buy some notes through that and also you can start playing the games. Let's talk about the third game where you can buy plots of lands. And now we're talking about Axie Infinity. Axie Infinity was the first game that got hyped up over the last couple of months. If you haven't heard about Axie Infinity, let me give you a brief introduction. Axies are fantasy creatures that inhabit Lunasia, an open world owned, operated and controlled by players. Lunasia is under attack. It's up to you and your axes to help the princess fight off creatures called Chimera while rebuilding and strengthening the kingdom. So in Axie Infinity you can buy plots of land here and will be important to fight and collect axes. They already had some sales happening but not all the land is sold out so it's still worth getting into it if you are interested. So let's check out the marketplace, they have divided everything by the different regions of the world, savanna, forest, and here you can see for how much those plots of lands are selling for. And I mean we are speaking about $15,000 for this plot of land, $16,000 for this one, and it has 33 pages. X Infinity has a lot of hype going around and I'm not seeing it vanishing away the next day. So if you stand behind the ecosystem, I would highly encourage you to take a look at this. And again, this is not financial advice, do your own research. 
just to make sure that you do the best decision for yourself. The fourth game that we want to talk about is Decentraland. Decentraland was already around since 2017. They have done all this metaverse thing before it was cool. In Decentraland it's actually really possible to do anything that you want to do. You can buy this plots of land to do some events there. You can buy it to feature your NFT collections. So I'm gonna give you their definition of what it means to own land. Land is an non-fungible digital asset maintained in an Ethereum smart contract. Land is divided into parcels that are referenced using unique XY Cartesian coordination. Each land token includes a record of its coordinates, its owner and a reference to a content description file or parcel manifest that describes and encodes the content the owner wishes to serve on his or her land. So the land parcels are six meters to 60 meters. You can build up as much as you want in the height but it's also limited. I've played the game myself and it's actually kind of cool to walk around there and seeing the different lands and how the creativity of people is unlimited. That's how it looks like if you want to buy plots of land. As you can see a lot of land is already sold to different owners which have their different Ethereum address listed here. You have their main places where you can't buy things and that's literally where you start most of the games and from there you can walk into the different plots of lands and the game is huge. So I'm guessing it will take some time till everything is getting sold out. And why I'm thinking you should get into it, it's because it has the biggest market capitalization from all the crypto gaming coins that are in the market currently. They have been around for a while and I can't imagine that this game will go away so fast. The last game that we want to talk about is the Neighbor Alice game. This game reminds me more of a girlish type of game but it's a huge market, think about it. So the land for the neighborhood Alice is not on the market yet so you can't get into it yet but it will launch in 2022 so you should be aware of it you should follow their twitter account join their discord channel to be aware when they will launch to give you their definition of what it means to own land in their game land will be the foundational asset in my neighborhood alice it will be the space in which much of the gameplay will take place as well as being a canvas for players customization and self-expression in total there will be approximately 100,000 pieces of land available in the game spread across six islands have a look at the beautiful map and start playing for your dream plot. 100 pieces of land sounds a lot and I think it is so we have to see whether the game hype around NFTs, crypto gaming will be still as huge and whether those 100 pieces will be sold out. But I'm definitely seeing that this game will take the hype, they have already high market capitalization, people are talking about it. And from what I saw from the gameplay, it's actually pretty cool. You can walk around there, you can do different games, you can socialize. It reminds me of the girly version of the sandbox game. So there you have it, my top 5 games where you can invest into plots of land to become a millionaire. Don't forget if you want to invest into the right plot of land, you have to be aware that you need to find a good location, somewhere where there's something around, maybe another big player that is next to you somewhere centrally obviously you gotta decide which size you want to buy if you buy a small plot of land you'll be embarrassed at one point to not have something bigger and make more money out of that if you bought too much maybe you don't have enough money cash flow left to buy other stuff so that will take some time to do a final decision and to get a better grasp about the game actually and how much scarcity it will have you gotta follow those games you gotta also subscribe to the channel right to get some follow-ups onto the games that I'm talking about. Don't forget to also like, subscribe and hit the bell button. And for real, if you have some comments to the video, put them down below. And now enjoy roaming the metaverse with me. Cheers!